Hey everyone, this is Terry from Terry's Philippine Journey. Going up to see the mind again. I just enjoyed it and it seems like everybody else enjoyed it. So this is one of the trails to the first mine we have here. So it goes up the side of the hill and there's, oh, I'd say maybe eight or 12, 15 mines up in here. Some of them are working. This is a their current working one. So they got some ones they've abandoned or putting on the side. So this is the way up. That's the father here. So he's 80 years old. He's going up to work. This is an air shaft here. This device here is pumping air into the mine. I climbed down in it the last time I was here. So this was an air shaft to one of the other mines they had. So they had three or four mines here. So this was an air shaft to one of them to feed uh, cool air into the main part of the mine. Now they got this big line, that plastic line, that pump is shooting air in there because it's surprisingly hot. In America, all the caves or mines I ever been in was uh, very cold, you know, 55 degrees or so. So I think it's interesting. They've just cut some timber. These uh, workers are heading in. So they're very quick about moving. I'm much slower, so he's already in. That's probably a uh, 10 12 foot drop from the floor here to go down in there so and then they have a little gate they lock at night and put a lock on it so uh i think it goes back in there about 60 70 feet at least 50 feet i would guess so and it's very tight it's probably four to six feet high in spots and four to three or four six feet wide in some spots but very tight and this rope and pulley they use to haul the bags out and then they go uh, take them down and process them so it's quite interesting but there's the father of the family that owns all this these guys just work there so it's quite interesting and then my I'm... name is oh, my nephew is Tata okay. Jasper Jasper Hi. Oh, hey. Yeah. Hi. You, you're on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. yeah, he's introducing me. Handsome? Beautiful. I, uh, we'll call him handsome. Uh, we won't say he's beautiful. <laughs> we'll save that for the Filipino. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, the father's joking with me. They always joke with me. Got a big tarp system to help keep the rain from pulling up here in the tunnel. And then they told me they originally had a, tie, a tunnel here or something. And their first one was down here at the bottom of this hill. So they've had like three tunnels here. And for one reason or another, they've switched them out. And, uh, and now this is the new one. They've just started this, they tell me, about three months ago. And they've, uh, you know, tunneled in about 50, 60 feet into the mountain, 70 feet maybe. So it's quite interesting. So this is the latest one and, and uh, so forth. So I may walk you back here to this one where the, uh, I don't know if the Japanese did it I've, as well, but I know the Americans did it. I don't know if I can find my way back in here, but uh, I'll wait, everybody's occupying the trail at the moment. But this is all stuff that's come out of the mine. So this is, how much digging, this is 12, 13 feet down there and even further on the side. So they've done, they've done a lot of digging, a lot of material. This is just the waste stuff. Once they hit a vein of gold, uh, of course, then they take that to the other site and process it. This is just material where they feel there's no gold in it. So it's quite interesting. So like I said, again, this is not a commercial operation. This is a family owned, although it's fairly 
substantial. They got barrel spinners at the other site where they have six, seven barrel spinning and uh, they add water and the material they dig out of the mine to try to separate the gold and then they put it in another thing that spins. The last thing spins this uh, slurry or whatever they call it. So yeah, uh, first one I've ever seen in my life that was a gold mine or something. So it's quite interesting. So I may t take you up there when people get done with their stuff. So yeah, this uh, gentleman here, he's the father, like I said, he's I believe 80, 81 years old, so I may try to walk you up to where the Americans, when they were here in the 40s, uh, mined. See if I can get up the trail. It's not very far. I'll see if I can negotiate it myself, by myself. They took me up. I'm wearing my sandals. I'm not used to wearing them, so. See if I can figure out where it goes. I know it's up the top somewhere here. I don't know, maybe here to take you up. Very slick. I'm not used to wearing sandals. I think we're up the, up here somewhere. Bear with me here. Yep, I found it. I knew it was close. So, sorry for the poor cam work, but it's lots of brush and stuff. So I was up here before. So back in the 40s when the Americans were here, instead of digging so much of a tunnel, not to say they didn't do that, but this particular place they uh, dug a pit which I wasn't aware of when I came up here last time I thought there was a tunnel over here and there may be one but primarily they just dug an open pit hunting for gold when the Americans were here in the 40s 42 41 44 somewhere around there and uh, so this is a pit mine so I would say it's maybe 20 25 feet deep 15 to 20 feet deep and 30 by 40 or something like that so it's pretty substantial i guess they threw all the dirt out on the side but that's how the americans were mining in this particular location and if you go out over the uh area here there's dozens of flat spots and pits and places where uh you know mines have collapsed and stuff uh, so I'm not sure how many's on this particular hill or mountain, but it's just fascinating. And then I was misinformed or like I said, I'm just learning all this as, as you guys may be as well. But the Japanese, I guess, occupied the Philippines from the uh, 1900s, uh, maybe 89, 1889 or 98 to... Uh, uh, 1940s when the Americans came and pushed them out so for 20 30 40 years the Japanese occupied the Philippines and they also all over the different uh, islands of the Philippines did uh, you know mining gold mining and the stories they've got uh, millions and you know of dollars of gold out back then which is worth you know trillion billions or something now and when the Americans come, the story is that they, uh, the Japanese fled the island very quickly and hid uh, their gold in different places around the island. So supposedly there's uh, buried Japanese gold, you know, bars or whatever, however they processed it uh, somehow in these mountains somewhere. So people uh, to this day, I guess they're searching for it. But they're, they're right here. They're uh, just actually mining for gold. So, uh, well, I'm not gonna go into what they get out of here, but anyhow, they mine. So here's a little 
shaft or breathing area below us here. So, but the family knows a lot more of the history than I than I do. I'm just trying to re re relay what they say. So, but that was the American mine. Here's another little pit or something. So I don't know if they dug that out or ventilation. But it's quite fascinating to me, so I'm just really enjoying the trip and the information. So next time we'll go back in the woods a little further. May do that on another video yet today, but show you all the other mines again. There's some we didn't, I didn't film. They have an older mine that this family had done that uh, they used for quite a while that's much bigger than this one. Same style, but it's a little, uh, further down into the mountain so it's quite interesting all right well that's it from the uh, mine there's the uh, son and father right there so the family there's like three generations uh, for, I guess uh, four there's the father and son and his son and then their grandson which is really young, so four generations been on this uh, this mountain in this area all these years. So that's who's doing it. So, so thanks for. I will lay down here and then sleep a few minutes. You want me to film you? This man, this man's been working in the mine. He's very tired. He wants to rest. This man here punishes me in the mountain. Takes me hiking. Do you like to sleep in? Not only that, I will punish you. Yeah. Maybe next time more than that. <laughs> he takes me hiking for four hours. He can't see, but doesn't fall in the mountain, and I fall down two times. So we had a good hike through the mountains the other day, so they're good people. I visit them many times here. Thank you, brother. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Say goodbye. Bye. We'll talk to you later. Do you go now? Yeah, thank.